Sagittarius. Welcome back. So, Sagittarius, this is going to be a general quick reading for the week of February 18th. Um, it's not going to be for all of you because it is a general reading, but if it resonates, cool. Uh, give it a like, share, and subscribe. If not, catch me next time. Um, if you're new to me, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Also, check out my social media account links down in the description box below. So, Sagittarius. We've already had some cards fly out here. Uh, overall energy is the King of Pentacles, which speaks of generosity in this deck. And then the Knight of Swords, which in this deck means drama. Mm -mm. Be careful who you're generous to. That's a message right off the bat. For some of you, you might have a little bit of drama going on in the work sector or home family sector. We'll get all the cards out and see. Particularly if you're dealing with an earth sign or an air sign. So, recent past energy, Sagittarius, Ten of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Dang. Dang. That's a whole lot of negativity. I'm not going to lie to you. This is, I feel like in the recent past Sagittarius, you might have felt like Like happiness was such a far distance from where you were at. You know what I'm saying? Or just having a hard time like holding on and being appreciative for what you have even. Or it might be the person you're dealing with was doing this. But there's an energy here of disappointment, feeling sad, uh, not communicating. Um, I don't like the Page of Swords in the reverse. If there was communication, it might have been very sharp snide um or gossip gossipy i guess and like i said this could be in the workplace or within the family love sector but i feel like it was, it's really disappointed someone okay so coming up in the present energy you have the page of cups and the eight of pentacles and then the ten of swords in the reverse looking a little bit better okay <laughs> I feel like towards the beginning of the week Sagittarius there's a, there's a new beginning here okay so you might be starting off the week trying to have a fresh new beginning leaving this BS in the past um, focusing on your work when you're at work focusing on what you need to do and not all, all the drama that may be going on around you for some of you if not at work, then this is just a focus on working on yourself. Um, but some of you definitely are still looking back on a past ending or a betrayal or a loss here. And it might be that like while you're concentrating at work, that's when the thoughts come into your mind. You know, about a past, like I said, disappointment, loss, um, something to deal with that. But the, I feel like you're trying to work past that, okay? And, ha and continue uh, having renewed uh, hope. <clears throat> Towards the end of the week, you have the Four of Wands in the reverse, the Five of Wands, and then the Four of Cups. So, Sagittarius. I feel like there is some instability within, like I said, the home or partnership. There might be some conflict coming towards the end of the week, and it leaves somebody feeling like totally emotionally drained, not really wanting to um, invest anymore. I feel like some of you, emotionally, you might haven't have had enough and you might want to walk away. Okay. And like I said, that could be from a person or from a 
a family member, a friend, a coworker, name it. So let me break this down into um, scenarios. Sagittarius, if this is love, I feel like there might be some immaturity or drama or just the way you communicate with each other is a little bit harsh, okay, or has been in the past. And it's kind of led to disappointment and it's also led to a, a slow divide between you and your partner. Um, I feel like this week, Sagittarius, you want to continue to either work on the partnership or yourself um, to have a new beginning. But like the old issues keep being drudged to the surface, okay, whether by this person or by you. And it makes you feel unstable. It might lead to some petty conflicts. And then just kind of feeling emotionally distanced from your partner. You're emotional, but you're not showing your partner you're emotional. Does that make sense? Like you are emotionally detaching from telling them that and kind of keeping it to yourself. And I think you're stuck in your head about possibly walking out of this relationship. All right. We're there. Now, that's not going to be for all of you. For some of you, this, you know, your partnership is not the primary focus. This might be going on with, um, like I said, a family member um, or somebody at work where they've disappointed you. They might have caused a lot of drama in the workplace, um, which caused instability, pettiness within the work environment. And now you feel like you need to just kind of emotionally distance yourself from those people. Realize that your coworkers are not your friends. Um, you know, and some of you might even thought about quitting the job because of it. Not all of you will, but I feel like you're trying to emotionally distance yourself because... You don't want to stress about it anymore. So that's if it's, like I said, within the work environment or family environment. <sighs> An overall message here, uh, Sagittarius, regardless of what situation you're in, is that stay in your lane. Continue to work on yourself. Avoid people that cause drama in your life. Um, watch your temper too. You know, you might have somebody that really pushes your freaking buttons and you don't want that to explode. Okay. So you do need to emotionally distance yourself from people that pull that out of you or have the ability to pull that out of you. Okay. So, uh, the zodiac signs I have here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I think those are the predominant signs here, but don't get caught up on that, it's a general read, if the message resonated, it's for you. Um, but I wish you all the very, very best. Remember, this is just a weekly reading. This is not forever. Um, <laughs> and also you have free will, so you can always change the future energies. I wish you the very best, Sagittarius. Until next time, namaste. Bye.